Hello people, you're welcome to Pro Masterclass. My name is Tola Alabi. In today's class, I'm going to be telling you how to choose design books wisely. Now, I did a class a couple of months ago called Six Books Every Logo Designer Should Get. And I got quite a lot of feedback from that class. And a lot of designers were asking me, what books they should get. Now they liked all the books I recommended but the truth is that they didn't have the resources to get all the books and a lot of people were asking me what book should I get from these six books that you've recommended. Now I can truly understand where you're coming from because there are millions of design books out there and we, know, we all know design books are not very cheap. A lot of them are quite, quite expensive. So in this class I'll be telling you how to choose the right book for you per time. In choosing a design book, you have to think of two things, form and function. Form and function. Now, there are, there are two classes of design books. There are books that, in, that inspire form and there are books that inspire function. That's what I consider when choosing a design book before purchasing a design book. You have to think of what does this book inspire. Now, I've come up with two two terms when it comes to classifying design books. The first term is, I think of books as look books. Look books are basically books that inspire form. These are books that stimulate you visually. Now these books have a lot of photos, a lot of um, logos and um, very few words. These books are basically just books you look through when you have free time. Now these books are very important because they inspire you visually and as a logo designer you need to be inspired visually. You need to have something that shows you how a logo should look because a logo should always be appealing. Look books kind of gear your mind towards how to make a logo more appealing. Now looking through a look book you would see various logos and you see how shapes are used, how colors are used, how fonts are used. So lookbooks are, are, are really critical for every designer to have. In the class I had a couple of months ago, six books every designer should have, I recommended a couple of lookbooks. One of them is Logo Lounge. Logo Lounge is a very good lookbook. It has very few words but a lot of photos of logos that would inspire you and um, just taking time to look through a lookbook can pay off in space for you as a designer. Another lookbook I recommended is Symbol by Angus Hyman and Steve Bateman. It's also a very, very great lookbook. It has very few words too, but a large array of logos. Now, all my lookbooks are pretty beaten up because I carry my lookbooks with me a lot around. Now these are books you can carry around with you. I throw them when I break at work or maybe I'm waiting for somebody. I just quickly look through them and you find them very, very helpful. So look books are the first category of books that you should look out for. Next category of books I'm going to tell you about are books that I term read books. Now read books are quite different from look books by the simple fact that they have more text than the photos. And these books are meant to stimulate you intellectually. They are meant to make you more cerebral as a creative. Now, um, I, I realize that a lot of designers are unable to engage with um, clients in a conversation and defend their logos, talk about their logos um, eloquently. Uh, and that's because a lot of designers do not invest in read books. Read books help you to be able to talk about your designs intellectually. So when, it, when a client asks you to talk about the logo, you're not, not just saying that um, this logo is, is blue and it's round. It helps to build your, your vocabulary as, as a creative, as a logo designer, that you can talk about your, your work intelligently. One of the read books that I recommended in my earlier class is Logo Design Love. Logo Design Love is an amazing read book. It's an easy read and the, the real jewel in this book are the fine prints. You can never really appreciate this book if you just look at the photos. But, but reading through the book will really stimulate you intellectually. It answers a lot of questions that designers have. 
Another very good read book that I recommended is Marks of Excellence. And it's a really amazing read book. Um, it's a big book, so it's not a book you carry around a lot, but it, the, the text and um, the, the fine print is really where you get the juice out of this book. So the read books help you to, to grow mentally as a designer. So you need that balance between read books that inspire f uh, um, function and look books that inspire form. Now when you have the, the combination of the two, you have an ideal designer. So when, you're, when next you are going to buy a book or you want to budget to buy a book, look at what you have in your library. Now if you have two lookbooks in your library, you, you must know that it's time for you to balance it up with a read book. If you have a read book in your library and you are thinking of buying another, another design book, then you know it's time to balance it up with a lookbook because these two must go hand in hand. So I normally have people recommend design books to me and tell me, oh Tola, you need to read this design book, you need to get this design book. And I, I go through the reviews of design book and I try to judge, is it a lookbook or a read book? And if I see that it's a lookbook and I see that right now I need more of read books, I don't buy that book. But when I look through my library and I see that, oh, I need more of, of look books, then I go for that book. So your purchase of design books is informed by the category the design book falls into. Now I do hope you found this class helpful. I hope it helps you or informs you in how to purchase design books wisely. Now if you have any books you want to suggest that fall either into the category of look books or read books, please don't hesitate to leave um, a suggestion in the comments below. Don't forget to share this video and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in the next class.